Greater Sydney is in drought and dam levels are dropping faster than they have in decades. This drought is one of the worst on record. Our dam levels have dropped more than 50% faster than in the Millennium Drought. In fact, storages have rapidly dropped from around 90% capacity to just over 50% in about two and a half years. The last couple of years have seen some of the lowest inflows into our catchment dams since the early 1940s. Hotter temperatures mean catchments are much drier than usual, which reduces runoff from the land as the soils are drier. This also means less water into our storages. Following record high temperatures and the hottest summer since 1910, Water New South Wales dams have been dropping by around 0.4% since April 2017. During times of drought, we work closely with Sydney Water to ensure the millions of customers relying on this water understand the severity of the drought and what it means to you. Every day, Water New South Wales supplies Sydney's raw water by collecting it from river catchments to the south and west of Sydney. The water is stored in 10 major dams and transported via a network of rivers, pipes and canals to Sydney Water's filtration plants. Water for our 21 storage dams is collected from five different catchment areas covering 16,000 square kilometres. In late January 2019, the 60% total water storage trigger activated the startup of Sydney Desalination Plant, or SDP. This is a privately operated desalination facility that can supply up to 15% of Sydney's total water supply. This helps take the pressure off the other 21 dams that we manage, including Warragamp Dam. From the 1st of June 2019, Sydney entered enforced water restrictions. Sydney Water's restrictions are relevant to everyone in metropolitan Sydney, Blue Mountains and the Illawarra. Then in mid-August, Greater Sydney Dam levels hit 50% total storage. This triggered a range of drought measures to help manage Sydney's water supply according to the Metropolitan Water Plan. A significant rain event of around 2 to 300 mils that sits over the catchment for a number of days would make a big difference in drought times. While there has been some rain this year, Greater Sydney would need 1,000 millimetres of rain for four to five months to generate significant inflows and to see our streams and systems to flow again. Once catchment rivers flow, we can replenish storages. If the current drought intensifies, Water New South Wales will continue to work closely with the Department of Industry Water, Sydney Water, Shoalhaven Water, and other government agencies. The collective aim is to preserve water supplies and protect water quality each and every day. Water New South Wales wants to keep you informed so you can better understand how storage levels are monitored and how water quality is maintained during this drought. To check out real-time dam levels and for regular drought updates, go to waternewsouthwales.com.au. We want you to stay updated on daily dam levels across the catchment. Check out the Greater Sydney dashboard. You can also get our weekly drought report for Greater Sydney delivered to your inbox via waternewsouthwales.com.au forward slash subscribe.